Hi everybody, it's Crystal and I'm signing in today to do my 21 week pregnancy vlog update. I am actually 22 weeks and one day pregnant today, so I'm just looking back at the past week. Um, so I feel like this vlog is going to be long because I wrote so many things down on my little notes list. So yeah, you might want to check the time on this vlog and just make sure it's within your time range because I'm not saying it's going to be super long. I might talk way faster because I feel like I have so much to talk about. And I might seem like I'm out of breath the whole time, but that's my normal um, stance these days. So I will just start off, and like I said, hopefully this won't be too long. Um, okay, so I'm 22 weeks and one day pregnant. Um, I am officially six months pregnant. Ah, six months! I feel like it was only like a month or so ago that we did our IVF and got pregnant, and oh, I just feel like the, my life has changed so much. Everything feels so different yet still the same but different so I don't know if that makes sense um so okay so this past week I had my on on Tuesday I had my second midwives um centering pregnancy class so that was really great um I went to work that day and then I like rushed not like rushed rush but I felt like I was in a huge hurry um and I was still in my work clothes when I went to the class and like everyone else is like you know dressed in their jeans and their shirts and I'm like in a suit over here so I felt hot and all kinds of stuff so but anyways and I even took clothes with me that morning so that I because I knew when I left work I was just going to be going straight there and I still didn't get out of work to like 10 minutes until 10 or 20 minutes no like 10 or 15 minutes until after I should have already left so I didn't have time to change uh, but anyways, my midwife's appointment was really awesome. Um, the heartbeats were baby um, A armor on the bottom was at 145, no, 150, and Ronin on top was at 145, I think, or vice versa, one of those. Um, so they were both, you know, it took her a little bit to find um, the heartbeat of Ronin on top baby B. So at first I, I started to get just a tiny bit nervous, and then... Then she found it. It was no big deal. He's just, you know, there's two in there, so it's kind of hard to get both of them, you know. And um, so she really found him, like, way, way up here, like, under my boob almost. It felt like she found the heartbeat a little below that. But, so, yeah, the, and they sounded great. It's good steady heartbeats. Um, my blood pressure was great. My weight was good. Um, let's see. Oh, in the class, we talked about, like, each session that you have, like, monthly, there's... Like a kind of like one big thing that you kind of talk about or you have um, a, a special person that comes in and talks to y'all as a group about everything. And, um, and you know, of course you talk about other things like we talked about dental hygiene and other things like that, little things, just questions that everybody had. But we had a, um, a physical therapist who specializes in pelvic floor um, exercises. She came in to talk to us all about different things that we can do to strengthen our pelvic floor and all of the muscles in that whole area um, from like basically starting now till we have babies or baby <laughs> um, and so I thought that was extremely informative I never would have thought to look up stuff like that on my own like you know like your doctor you know they say do kegels or kegels however you want to say them and it's recommended that you do 80 of them a day and then she gave us some other like really simple abdominal stretches that we can do like while you're sitting in a chair and um, you know like a real quick little hamstring stretch so um, it was really great and I found myself today at work like in the elevator and at random parts of the hotel like doing these little stretches um, so that I keep the um, I just keep that all my muscles tight down there tightened so that you know as I move further along in the pregnancy the heaviness so that way it doesn't like just completely kill me or anything like that um, so that I thought the midwives class was great and we even like went 10 or 15 minutes over because we were so like caught up in talking about everything and questions about you know I mean everything from how do you keep yourself from peeing and how do you you know peeing on yourself while you're pregnant or you know things like that to um, you know is sex going to be the same after you have a baby and just you know really like honest really good um information and you know listening to other lady other girls talk about their experiences who you know some of them who've already had a child before so it was a really great class i can't wait to go to the next one i think the next one's october 22nd and then i go again in november and november starts where we go twice a month for our classes like every two weeks so i'm really excited about that i love the class i'm so freaking glad 
and grateful that I chose to go with the midwives group versus the um, the regular OBGYN. Um, and not that there's anything wrong with that, but me personally, I, I feel like this is probably going to be my own only pregnancy. And so I really feel like by doing this class, I'm I'm just getting all the information that I can and I'm really immersing myself in the pregnancy because again, it may be the only pregnancy I have. I mean, even though I'm pregnant now, I'm still an infertile person. Like I, you know, it's not like I'm mag magically gonna just be able to have kids after we have these two. But um, so it was just, I, I feel like it's really a great thing that I'm taking these classes. Even if in the end I have to have a cesarean or anything like that, just the fact that I got to have a really great pregnancy experience is worth it to me. Um, so that was really great. And then before that, like like last week, I actually had my specialist appointment um, and that was where I see my high risk doctor and everything was fine. Everything was great. We got to see the babies on screen and um, they were both... Each one of them measured 15 ounces, and that was at 21 weeks. So yeah, 15 ounces each. So I imagine by today they're probably already a pound um, each. And so they're um, everything else looked really good. Um, the sonogram was actually really quick. I have it. I just haven't uploaded it. I've just been so busy. Um, if anybody wants to see it, it's really. It's I think it's like seven or eight minutes long. I can totally upload it if you guys want me to. Um, if not. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, so the appointment went really well. The sonogram technician person was really, really fast. Um, she, it just seemed, I guess all of our others have been so long that that one felt really short, but it was fine. We got to see everything we wanted to see. We even kind of got to see their faces a little bit, which is really, I've been just staring at their pictures, their sonogram pictures every single day. I go in there and I just stare at them like, oh. I think this one looks like you, and I think this one looks me. Um, you know, you can't really see like full definition or anything like that in their faces, but me looking at it, I just see them, I see parts of them already, and it's such an amazing feeling to, um, to see that. So um, they did not do a cervical length check on me. I did ask, but the doctor said they usually don't do it until 24 weeks, so I'm totally fine with that. I will be 24 weeks in two weeks, basically, um, and so that will be viability, and so that's really an awesome milestone to reach, so I can't wait to get to that point. Um, but yeah, they will do that check on me then, and um, I think that's it for my appointments. Let's see. Uh, oh, my next appointment is October 7th, so I will see them at 24 weeks, and then I think I'll start going twice a month to see them every every two weeks or something I really I'm not 100% sure but I think so um, let's see all right I'm already at seven minutes y'all Woohoo! I'm doing good <laughs> but I just wanted to um, like go over my doctor's appointments um, so yeah next one is October 7th and um, yeah that's it so I also wanted to say that I officially like the, the nursery room is cleaned out like it's cleaned out of kind of the extra junk that I had hanging out in here and I'm actually sitting here now that's why the wall's not green behind you. <laughs> um, I actually took everything out of our cedar chest and so either clothes all over the front living room because I had to have Josh move it in here. It's in the closet. Um, so, but yeah, I've got pretty much all like baby stuff in this room and baby stuff in the front living room, but the nursery is actually starting to look a little bit like a nursery. So I think after I finish this video, I'm going to do a separate little quick video, just like a real quick to show you um, that we have the cribs up and where the table is and so just like a quick video like a little sneak peek I know Jess kind of did Jess Pete kind of did a sneak peek thing so I'll just take it from her or use her little idea I'll give you guys a sneak peek of the nursery after I do this video because I can't I don't want to make it on this one because then it is going to be like even way more longer than it should be so now to how I'm feeling <laughs> oh I do want to say that I am feeling movement a lot of movement I am now uh, feeling, I feel, it's so funny, after I started, after I made my um, pregnancy vlog last week, the 20, uh, 20 week, um, I, like the very next day, I felt armor kick on the bottom. So I was at work um, and I could feel him, it just felt like little thumps, boom, boom, boom. Um, and then it would stop and it would happen again. Um, so it was so cool, so neat. Uh, I'm glad whenever it's a little bit more intense so that Josh can feel it. I know it's going to get intense eventually where I'm going to be wishing that they would calm down probably, but I am so anxious for him to feel it. It's kind of felt like slight movements, but nothing like a full on like kick or anything like that. So, um, but yeah, so I'm feeling both babies move now. It's so neat how they feel different. Each, each of them feels different in their movements. Um, 
because Ronan baby B is on top and he's like stretched from like under my left boob all the way down to my side and then baby A armor his head is on the bottom on my right side and he he is actually like like this he's kind of his feet are up by his head he's kind of squished up in there I feel bad for the little guy but um so yeah I'm, I feel them move now every single day um it's just such a neat feeling I'm starting to get used to it now and I start to just get get this little grin on my face when I feel anything from them I'm like oh it's them they're saying hi <laughs> you know um, I'm still sleeping on the couch, um, and I know a lot of you, I got a lot of mixed comments on that, not bad comments, but I think a lot of people th think that it's a whole, like a bad thing that I'm sleeping on the couch, and it's really not. Um, all I can say is that when you're pregnant, and I guess at the length, at how far along I am, and not even that, it's just how big and how all of that stuff combined like I feel fantastic sleeping on the couch there's actually like this ottoman that we have that's level with the couch so I pull it all the way up so it makes it like the cat like I'm in a bigger bed um, and it's just the I don't even know how to explain it I the bed is just not very comfortable at all the couch is fantastic I sleep great on the couch um, so anybody who's worried about me concerned about me out there thank you but I I will probably live on the couch until the end and Josh and I have both come to accept that and we're okay with it. We still have our time together. Like we definitely snuggle and do all kinds of other things. So it's not like we're, you know, separating ourselves from one another. It's just, it's really about comfort at this point. And I work full time and I have to have sleep to be functioning at work. So yes, thank you all for your concern and cares and thoughts and everything. But I'm, I'm I promise I'm okay sleeping on the couch. Um, let's see, uh, let's see, this is where I took a lot of notes and I feel like I had so much to talk about. Um, sleeping on the couch, I can always, oh, I feel like I can always eat, whoa, a lot. I mean, I don't like completely overindulge in my, overindulge, excuse me, I'm really burpy, that's just a pregnancy thing, I just can't help it, I like, I get really burpy. Um, so yeah, I feel like I can eat all the time, so I have to really hold back and, you know, like, kind of limit myself, which is fine. I'm, I'm getting better at it. I'm getting much better at it than I was, like, over the last, like, three weeks. Um, let's see. I feel like I'm saying, um, a lot. It's because I made the list. This is what happens when I make a list. I say, um, because after I finish something, I'm like, um, okay, on to the next thing. Um, <laughs> see, there it goes. Okay, so, I, oh, I feel really heavy like my belly area it just feels like whenever I get up out of bed or not bed the couch and it just it feels heavy and sore like my muscles and my belly feel sore and I guess that's just because I'm I'm getting up out of a position of sitting and or sleeping is maybe requiring me to use different muscles or stretching out the ones that I have and so I just feel a lot of soreness in my belly area which is fine it's nothing that I can't handle or live with but it's definitely sore um, and then let's see so I'm sore in that area <laughs> I'm totally losing my train of thought you guys I can't I can't stay focused um, and so from having a sore belly I feel huge my belly feels huge I feel when I'm sitting now it's just there it's huge it's not as huge as it's gonna be but right now I just feel I feel like this last week and maybe the last two weeks it just like exploded my belly just poof, just totally popped out it's there People keep asking me now, um, are definitely asking me now, what do you do? What do you do? So I tell them, and they look at me kind of funny, and then I tell them I'm having twins. I'm like, oh, okay, that's so cool. And so it's kind of neat. I mean, I can, I mean, it's just weird that so many people, I'm definitely at that point of pregnancy where it's not like a questionable thing. Like, people know that I'm pregnant. And, you know, like some people can go a really long time without asking, you know, some, some people feel really, really uncomfortable asking a woman if she's pregnant, even if it's really obvious, but it's really obvious that I'm pregnant, so people aren't holding back at all, which I think is funny. Um, my feet have been swelling a little bit. <sighs> Not like, I've seen people's feet swelling in my twin IVF group on Facebook. They sometimes little girls will post pictures of their feet or whatever. And I've seen some major swelling, so I'm not quite there. And thank God, but I am definitely, I have days, like a couple days in a row where my feet will puff up and be kind of swollen. Um, and then it'll kind of go down. 
So I'm definitely experiencing that. I don't know if it's just that I have a lot of water retention. I don't know if it's that I ate too much salt. I really don't know what it is. And I forgot to ask at my appointment. But I think whenever I have my appointment on the 7th, I'll ask my doctor then if it's a, a concern or anything like that. I don't think it is. Obviously, swelling is natural in pregnancy. And since I'm getting bigger so much faster, it's it's there. Um, I feel a little bit of pain underneath my ribs on the right left side oh and also I did find out I do have both of my placentas are interior and so that means it's on the outside of your belly area not outside of your belly but rather than being like towards your back it's towards your front so and where I'm feeling my rib pain is like right underneath there so I I think that it's just the baby's and our also Ronin um, baby B's head is right under there and so I think when he stretches out and presses up I think that's what I'm feeling under my rib area and sometimes if I lay on my on my left side at night um, I can feel him like nestled down there a little bit it's really weird um, emotionally I am feeling calm and collected I have little tiny moments of feeling emotional about things or getting really frustrated but nothing like I was a couple weeks back when I was just wanting to cry at everything I, I, I swear I just had like a massive hormone dump on my body like it just hit me like a ton of bricks but I'm definitely still feeling pretty calm right now which I'm glad I don't like to feel unstable or really really emotional um, I'm starting to pee more a lot at night I noticed in the very very and I may have said this on one of my other vlogs like right before this but in the very very beginning I peed all night long I was literally at one point I was waking up every single hour on the hour no lie not kidding no joking every single hour on the hour I had to wake up and go pee and so now I'm noticing that I am getting up at least two maybe three times a night to go pee and I know that that's only going to stick around, so that's fine. Um, I am also starting to feel a little bit of heartburn, which I think is also like where the burpiness comes from or just feeling a little burpy. Um, but so I'm feeling that and I think that's it as far as everything I'm feeling. I think I covered everything. Um, <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, I think that is it. So yeah, I'm feeling, oh, you know, although I have lots of things to say of how I feel, uh, I feel amazing. I feel great. I feel so happy to be pregnant. I feel so, I just feel amazing and I feel so grateful and so blessed to be uh, having, to have had this opportunity to be pregnant and I can't wait to meet them. I cannot wait to see their faces. Um, I find myself just sitting around like dreaming and kind of like daydreaming about what it's going to be like when they're here and what they're going to look like and it's just it's such an amazing thing what pregnancy does to you um and you and your husband and josh's i mean i can see different ways of, of him that it's kind of changed or made him softer or, or just various different things that i can tell he's being affected by it too and it's just such a great process to see and again i am so thankful um so that's it that's all i have to talk about i know this is like 18 minutes long and i'm sorry I, at least it's under 20. Um, I will do a quick nursery tour after this, so stay tuned. And if for some reason, if for some reason it is not up after this video, it will be up tomorrow. So everybody have a great day. And as always, thank you. Thank you so much for watching and supporting and commenting and just being there for me. I think you, you, you everybody makes me smile. And I just appreciate all of my subscribers and my new subscribers and I just, I feel an overwhelming amount of love uh, from this community and I could not be more grateful for it. So everybody have a fantastic day. Oh, and I also wanted to say congratulations to that one Haley girl because she got her BFP and like she's made it, she's seven weeks now and this is like big news for her. And this girl has tried and struggled for a long time and has had losses. And I, everybody, 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 keep your fingers crossed that everything goes super smooth for her because she... Like so many of you, she deserves this, and it's so great to see someone in the community that you've known for a while, like, actually get their dream. So, everybody keep that one Haley girl in your prayers and thoughts, and have a great day. Bye. Okay, so real quickly, this is going to be my 21-week belly shot, which I'm actually 22 weeks. So, this is 21 weeks. <laughs> here we go. So, I'll stand back here so you can actually see me. But, this is it. It is definitely there. So this is from the side and the front, very round. And then from the other side. So yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy, I'm telling you. All of my shirts, almost all of my shirts are starting to get
to this point right here where you can like see my 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 stretchy whip turn pants so yeah that's changing um anyways again have a great day everybody bye